Hey guys, it's Alex here from Workshop 12. Today, I'm going to introduce the brand new 10 inch IPS Brainiac Smart Rear View Mirror for your ride. Let's not waste any more time and jump right in. So what is a smart rear view mirror, you ask? Well, it's the perfect thing you need for your car. And why is that? Well, because the smart mirror is not just a mirror, but it's also a re reverse camera and a dash cam. And I'm not talking about a bad quality dash cam. I'm talking about 2K for the front dash cam, like your dash cam there. Front one, it would be it's a dash. Anyways, your dash cam is a 2K resolution. And the reverse camera is also one um, 1080p uh, resolution. And it's a wide angle, 170 degree angle. So you can capture everything you need on the road while you're driving. So what's in the box? Right away, you open up the box and you see the beautiful Brainiac Smart Mirror. It's a 10 inch IPS display. It comes equipped with 2K resolution, adjustable as well, so you can adjust it to get the perfect image. On the top, you have SD card slot. You also have the reverse camera slot and the charging slot thing. <laughs> okay, so this mirror is super easy to install and the way it works is that there are two methods to install this kit or sorry, this rear view mirror. And how it works is in the box, you're going to get these little rubber bands. And this is what first method of installing the rear view mirror is adding it on top of your existing rear view mirror. So for example, you would grab these bands and let's say my hand is your rear view mirror from your vehicle. You would put this right in front of it and then these rubber uh, band would basically go over and get secured at the bottom here and it will hold it in place. That's method number one. Method number two is you remove these little tiny tabs and in the box, you're going to receive this one here where this can just go right on here and then it gets secured. So we just connect it and now you can remove your existing mirror and then have this mounted onto the same spot. So now you only have one mirror. So what else is in the box? Great question. So you got two, you have two of the um, rubber bands. You also have the charging cable, which connects to your cigarette lighter. And you have your reverse camera. The reverse camera is a full HD, 1080p and both sensors are Sony and they come with a 170 degree angle. You also have the little 3M adhesive that you'll be able to put to secure the camera and two little tiny screws. So one of the questions we get asked is what is this little red cable and do I need to connect it? You don't need to connect it. You only need to connect this red cable if you want your camera to engage when putting the car in reverse. So I don't like having this little red cable connected because I like having my reverse camera showcasing at all times what I'm watching and it's, or not watching what I'm seeing through it. Um, so I like to leave it on all the time. So let's jump in and take a look at the smart mirror software so right away you're gonna notice that once you connect it you're gonna notice that the interface is quite nice okay you have the brightness up here where you can adjust the brightness you have these little arrows where you can adjust the footage to go up and down. So if you have your reverse camera connected, you'll be able to easily see the curb. You also have here the record button 
Uh, obviously, there's not a SIM card, uh, SD card connected to it. You also have here the, if you want to record the audio, you can lock the footage and you can also go into the settings here. So if we go into settings, the settings is pretty cool because it has all the information you want. So the first tab here, you'll be able to check the resolution where you'll be able to um, change it to either 2K or, 10, um, or 1080p. You have your cycle. So what is a cycle? So basically, um, it will make life a lot easier for you to find the footage you want if the video is only one minute or five minutes or three minutes long instead of it being your whole drive. So for example, if you went somewhere and drove 20 minute drive and something happened, well now you gotta go through that 20 minute footage um, to capture that moment. Instead, with this, you can set it to record in one minute um, intervals and then you'll be able to easily find the footage you want. Then you have, you can control your exposure as well. Then you can actually format the, the SD card right from here. You can also change the date and time. You can control the frames per second, change the language, key sound, and the boot display mode. So did you want the, the front camera to show or did you want to show a split screen right away uh, as soon as you power it on? So you can set that to what you want. And then you also have your default where you'll be able to just kind of change and add, um, revert back to original settings. This resolution is phenomenal. It looks absolutely fantastic. And if you want to switch the mirror uh, to the, like to make it a regular mirror, all you have to do is tap this button right here and then it goes into a regular mirror. And if you tap it again, you'll be able to see it. Um, guys, this is about to get dropped on our website. It's about to go on sale as well. And stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Alex and it's an honor to help. Um, thank you for supporting Workshop 12. And that being said, Alex is out. Peace.